this is the second segment on the Simrex drone model X300C and my first one I made an error I apologize but so the first thing you do is you turn the drone on and it has to be on a flat surface then you turn the controller on and they will pair automatically so here's a little switch to turn on the double beep and the lights stop flashing. Then what you need to do is to calibrate it. It's on the left side and see it looks like a little atomic figure. You push that down and hold it for several seconds. That's what uh, makes it operate properly. As in the first video, you push this one time to start it. Now there's another thing I will mention on this button over here, the same one that did the calibration to to get it correct there's a little speedometer symbol right down here and if you just tap it it changes your speed of your individual prop motors and there's a total of three speeds so there's two and there's one if you keep going it'll just go through them all so I think I want one I think that's the slowest because I'm indoors right now the other thing that I've learned, so then you go to the first level of height, remember you just push this button up. What I've also learned is this button here, if you push this, just tap it, let me get it settled here. So now I'm flying by tilting, oops, let me, uh, back this out. So if I can get everything in the screen, now I'm flying by tilting the controller. Forward makes it go forward, toward, back, back, whoa, let's... left, right. So I hope that uh, makes a little bit of sense. See, so I tilt it back, it comes towards me, forward left, right. So that was an interesting feature that I kind of like. And the other thing, to return it to the normal operation, you just tap that again. Okay. So to land, you can just tap this stop button one time and it'll slowly go down to the floor and stop. For an emergency stop, you hold this button down and it'll shut everything off no matter how high you are in the air. Whereas just one tap, no matter how high you are in the air, it'll slowly come, come down and land safely. I've decided I will do a third segment that will cover one button push so it will return to you because you could be outdoors and lose sight of the drone and have difficulty finding it. You can push one button it'll come back right to where you're at and then I'll get into the camera mode where you use your smartphone device to control the drone. Stay tuned.